<laughs> hey guys, here I am laughing again. Um, why? Because you're probably going, where in the hell has she been? I'm trying to think. Oh, that's right. When I was in LA, um, I'm in Boston right now. I was in LA and I brought all of my camera stuff, but I didn't bring, I didn't bring one thing. There's something I forgot. I don't remember. Oh, I don't think I brought my cord. Um, so this time, um, I left on Monday in my hotel room and I just ordered lobster. I can't lie. I have a lobster sitting over there and I'm actually taking the time to vlog and say hello first. I wonder if I should turn this light on. That would help. I don't know where the switch is. I hate it when they have funky switches. Oh, is that better? Um, what was I going to say? Anyway, I left Monday. Um, of this week. So I got back from LA on Saturday night and then I had one day at home and then I left Monday to get to New York. Um, and then I had meetings all day Tuesday and then we had the fitness magazine event all day yesterday, which is fantastic. And then today is Thursday. So I got a flight, I think around three o'clock to Boston. Now I'm in Boston. I have actually some calls that I have to do tonight, catch up, then I'm going to bed early, um, and then we have the um, event tomorrow, which is the first ever blogger event at Reebok World Headquarters. Um, so if you want to follow along, the hashtag is pound RBK, as in Reebok, RBK Fit Blog. So RBK FIT BLOG. You can follow along on Twitter. Um, it's just been a really crazy week, and um, but what I did do is I did pack <laughs> all of my video equipment. I packed my cord, and I didn't shoot any video while I was in New York. So um, this is becoming a little bit of a bad habit, but I think I can get over it. It's just this was really a, an odd week in having two huge events. Um, someone's being silly. Um, two huge events kind of back to back with like no break in between. So um, as you can imagine, you know, I've gone from Chicago to New York, New York to Boston, then Boston to back home. And right before that, I was in L.A. So um, a little jet lagged, um, a little bit, a lot needing sleep, um, you know, because sometimes it might sound like, well, what's the big deal? You were just at a fun event. It's different when you have to be the person planning the event, coordinating the event, and you're talking nonstop, and then I was speaking on a panel, so um, it's exhausting. I mean, I actually, we were invited to a lovely dinner last night, and I had to bow out because by the time it was like 5 o'clock, I was getting into my hotel, and my eyes were, it was just feeling like if I keep going, I'm going to get sick. Um, I can tell that about myself. If I haven't had rest, if I haven't, um, and it's been a stressful time, I will, I'm on the verge of a cold, so, um, I went to bed early and, and I felt much better when I woke up, but so much to tell you guys. Um, the fitness magazine event yesterday was a blast. Um, one of the guys that spoke, these are just because these are right here. This guy, uh, it's funny cause Carla had been telling me she really loves this guy's books. Um, I think he's done, um, oh, here's his books, Year of Living Biblically and The Know-It-All. I don't know what The Know-It-All is about, but he did like a, a, a year where he took everything out of the Bible and, and applied it literally to his life, um, including like not shaving and so on. And then this one is all about Drop Dead Healthy, One Man's Humble Quest for Bodily Perfection. Um, so I'm kind of looking forward to reading it. He was really, um, he was a really good speaker, really funny. Um, might have a book to give away. And then I also, on Tuesday, um, had lunch with someone who's very cool and is now going to be a significant part of Fit Fluential, Jay Cardiello. Um, really, really so impressed with Jay for so many reasons. Um, he's just a top, um, top-notch guy, very knowledgeable, very serious and passionate about helping people with fitness, you know, the right way. Not like gimmicky stuff, but really passionate about helping people, um, to cut through all the crap that's out there and really educate themselves um, or help them get educated if you will sorry I'm, I'm rambling um, but I'm just I'm really impressed I've been able to meet uh, a lot of great people and you're gonna see a lot of Jay um, and it's funny I can't I can't really tell you a lot yet but just stay tuned because you're gonna see a lot with Jay um, and with Valerie with Fit Fletcher coming uh, in the near future and I'm 
thrilled about it. So um, I got to meet a bunch of new influentials uh, out at the fitness magazine event. Um, it was great. I just, I, I guess it's all still a blur. Um, really exciting stuff. And um, excited about tomorrow. So I promise that tomorrow I'll be taking my camcorder with me. We'll be taking a ton of video. Um, it's funny because I showed up to the fitness magazine event and I did not, I was like, oh, I didn't bring my camcorder. But realistically, looking back at the way the day went, I didn't have two seconds where I could have stopped and taken video footage because I was literally talking from the second I walked in the door to someone um, until four o'clock. So from like eight o'clock in the morning till four o'clock, I was talking. And that includes being up on a panel and talking to a crowd. So, um, you know, those are the kind of things that I, I think other people don't realize how exhausting that can be. It really can be exhausting, especially because, you know, I don't get to go back to my room and then just kick back and watch TV. I have to keep working. I mean, this is how you build um, a great company and something of which I'm um, very proud, but it's also something that makes me very tired and need Botox. So um, anyway, apologies for being crazy delayed in shooting videos and hello to my two-year-old fans out there. You're gonna have to tell me your name so I can do a shout out to you while you drink your pretend coffee. <laughs> and um, just for you, so you know, I do have my traveling coffee cup. And I've just made myself, since it's late at night, some green tea, but it's in the, uh, it's in the other room. So cheers to you. So I will be having some tea here shortly. Um, that said, I, how long am I? I'm at six minutes and 37 seconds. Um, couple of other things, you know, one of the things that, uh, you know, I'm really excited to get home. I've canceled some of my trips, come, you know, in the future um, because in before I started my 60-day challenge, and yes, I realized I didn't blog on Wednesday, um, I, I needed to give myself a break for a day because that was exhausting. Um, but when I got back from traveling to, what it was it, uh, Disney and then Columbus and then Austin for two weeks and then coming back you know I did that 60-day challenge to myself and that was great but being on the road when you're on the road like these big long stretches of time it's it's utterly exhausting I mean I think it's it's tough enough like I've done it in the past when I had a sales job and I was working for somebody else but that was that was even a, a whole level different than what I'm doing now because that was you know I maybe fly into Boston, I'd get into my hotel, I'd have two meetings the next day. And that was it. The meetings were really the meetings. I didn't have to run a company. I didn't have to, um, I, I mean, I just, everything I'm doing now, it never stops. I mean, and, and that's one of the things that when I get back, um, after talking with Val and having her, you know, kind of analyze my life and so on, and, and a lot of the stuff that Corey's been saying to me too is, I have to start, it's it's bigger than just taking care of myself in that, well, you know, in the past, since quitting my job, I haven't made time for my workouts or I haven't made time for me. I'm really, you know, one of the things Val said when she was talking to me, she's like, you know, how much time are you spending at your computer hunched over, you know, a laptop or your computer and have you always been that way? Because you wonder why your back bothers you. And, you know, think about it. One of the things that this, that uh, one of the gentlemen spoke about, and that's another book I want to link to. Of course, I'm going blank on his name now. But they said, um, they said, you know what? Sitting is the new smoking. And you guys should think about this. This really hit me because I'm like, it's what Val said. And then it's what this person said. And they're like, you know, smoking is so bad for you, but the amount of time that we spend sitting without stopping, you know, you're just sitting nonstop, you're at your desk. We're, we're such workaholics, so many of us. And this is the thing that I have not realized, like even if it's something as simple as once an hour, getting up, you know, you don't even necessarily have to go outside of your office or outside of your home and go for like a 10, 15 minute walk. Even if you just started something as simple as once an hour for five minutes, I'm gonna, you know, run in place, do jumping jacks, um, get up and walk somewhere, walk to go get, walk up and down, you know, three or four flights of stairs. If you did that, you know, once an hour, and, and you might say, oh, I can't take 15 minutes out of, out of every hour. Of course you can. 
if you're at a, at a job, but you sure that everybody could take two or three minutes. And what if you did that um, once an hour on a 10 hour day? That's adding in a half an hour of activity that you, that you haven't done. And it's just adding in something instead of being constantly sedentary. You know what they say? I mean, think about people in hospitals. What's the worst thing that happens to them? It's they can't move, their muscles atrophy, right? It, it can only be better for us to add some kind of movement in. Think about it. it our workouts and, and taking care of our health doesn't have to just be when we go to the gym. And it's something I'm really realizing like, wow, you know, what's been my biggest problem since quitting my job and since getting into this crazy you know, my company is exploding and my business is exploding, is that I go into my office and I don't leave. And I want to go work out. You guys know I love working out, but I don't because I'm, I'm, I'm in there and I'm focused and I get an email, I get a text, and I feel the need to respond to everything right away. Um, these are things that I need to be a little bit more, I don't want to say laid back. I need to be easier on myself. But think about how much time you spend sitting. And once you think about that, you realize like, why is it every time I go get a massage, they're working on my glutes like there's no end? That's because I'm sitting on them all the time. This is going to stop. So I'm telling you, I'm going to look for an app. Someone mentioned it on Twitter. I'm going to look for an app or whether I use my bit timer or whatever that will do something while I'm working so that once an hour, every hour, I'm going to be getting up. I don't care if I do squats. I don't care if I go and say, okay, maybe every other hour I go for a five minute walk or whatever. I'm adding activity to my day. They brought this up. They were, it was a really good panel. I'm going to have to look it up and see if I can write down who was talking. There were two um, maybe dietitians or nutritionists, and this other gentleman is a trainer, you know, a bunch of certifications and licenses. But he, was, he wrote a book, which I'm going to get because his book is addressing um, fitness and, and hormones for women, which is everything that I'm trying to address and balance in a natural way now. Um, but they were, again, talking about, he said, what are the most important things for women if you're trying to get healthier, lose weight, whatever? He said, it's not cardio. He goes, that's what all of these women think is that, you know, well, I'm just going to go on the treadmill. I'm going to work. And you guys know, you've probably heard me say that. I've been thinking, like, what should I do if I'm not losing weight? I should do two more hours of cardio. That's what we think. He was saying the number one important thing is your diet, your nutrition, your stress level, your sleep. Um, and then, you know, not being sedentary, in it, just in general. Then he's like, add strength training, add interval circuits. The last thing he was saying that you is, you know, as far as the order of importance was like any kind of long, slow, steady cardio. Like, you know, just going out for a jog for an hour or whatever. Um, and, and again, this, this message of people, people, oh, that was the title of the, the panel. It was like, are carbs the enemy? It was talking about carbs. And they're like... Think about how many other nations, whether it's Japan or I don't know if they were necessarily talking about China, they eat a lot of carbs in white rice or vegetables or fruits or whatever. They're more active. They walk everywhere. Um, these are things to consider. Um, if somebody wants to understand the French paradox, so to speak, these people eat a lot of rich foods, and but they, they walk everywhere. They're active. Um, we are... A nation that is becoming less and less active. Our kids are in front of televisions, our kids are in front of computers, and in front of Game Boys. I don't even know if I'm saying the right thing, forgive me, Xbox. Um, you know, we're in front of our computers, we're working ourselves to death, and we're getting less and less activity, even just the natural activity that people used to get. This is something that's really striking me. I learned a lot. I mean, so obviously the, the fitness magazine event taught me a lot. It's really got me thinking. Valerie was the one that got me thinking about that in the beginning where she's like, you haven't been taking care of yourself. Um, and yeah, I'm sorry for those of you that commented on my blog that you're so perfect. And obviously you've never had this problem. Forgive me. I'm not as up there as you are yet, but I'm working on it. So, um, yeah, these are things that I'm really excited about once I get home. Um, not traveling for at least, I think, I might not actually not be traveling for um, six to eight weeks, which will be nice because it'll be really good to settle in, um, get my good groceries at home, not travel, not have a hectic um, lifestyle, and then again, kind of take what I've been doing for the past almost 60 days, you know, take that up another level and, and get, um, you know, my probiotics that, I, that I'm that i going to be taking. Um, I 
think I have some Vega waiting for me when I get home, so I'll have new protein shakes that I can take that are not whey protein, and so on and so forth. So that said, I'm almost at 15 minutes. I'm going to go eat my lobster, and I will talk to you guys tomorrow.